The Marie Séraphique was a French slave ship that carried more than 1,300 people away from Africa between 1769 and 1774. Its four voyages were organized in Nantes, the largest French slave trading port, and took its African captives from the Congo River region to Saint-Domingue, the major French Caribbean colony, now Haiti. Illustrations survive from three of these voyages. Although made by ship's officers, they do provide important insights into the experiences of the Marie Séraphique's African captives. The first image shows African merchants marching captives into a trading post at Loango, north of the Congo, where they were sold to the Marie Séraphique's captain and then rowed out to the anchored ship. On its four voyages, the Marie Séraphique spent between two and six months at Loango, forcibly embarking about 330 captive people. African captives spent 15 weeks on the ship, on average, 10 of them on the transatlantic crossing. Overnight, captives were locked below deck with men separated from women and children by a wooden wall called a barricado. Enslaved people endured appallingly cramped conditions below deck. They were tightly packed together in fetid spaces, many lying on their sides. Men were stripped naked and most were chained at the ankle to deter resistance. Some people slept on platforms that were built into the side of the ship to increase its capacity. Breastfed children were also confined in this space, including babies born at sea. At sunrise, the captives were brought up to the main deck. The sexes remained separated by the formidable nine-foot-high wooden barricado. Guns were trained on men who could be shackled in pairs or to a long chain attached to rings in the deck. Women and children remained on one side of the barricado, along with most crew. By separating men from women, the crew hoped to limit communication and resistance. Twice a day, captives were fed beans or rice, which was cooked in the stove that we see here. Buckets of food were passed through the barricado door to groups of 10 people. The crew watched attentively to ensure that people ate. After a 10-week middle passage, the Marie Séraphique reached Saint-Domingue, having experienced mortality well below the average. Africans who survived the voyage were sold from the ship. Colonists picked out people from those presented on the main deck and negotiated their purchase under a canopy. Most of Marie Séraphique's prisoners spent the remainder of their lives toiling on plantations. This video has concerned four voyages of only one ship, but the passage to the Americas was experienced by an estimated 12.5 million people, 1.8 million of whom died at sea.